I'm Robin Dunn. I teach third grade. Today we're going to do egg in the classroom uh, science uh, ice cream in a bag. But we're going to talk about science. Making We've talked about. We did some research so on the computers so about uh, where before. sugar cane comes from, where How vanilla beans come from. Everybody. And so I broke them up into groups, and they used their Chromebooks, and they look, and they researched this information. We're going to make it. We don't have an electric machine, but we're going to make ice cream anyway, because scientifically we can do this. Hey, right, Peyton, what's something that's in ice cream? Name one thing that's in ice cream. It's milk, but cows need fresh grass to get the milk. And so really, these sugars are a little bit better for you than this one, because they've taken the fiber off of it. So the sugar cane, what you do, you cut off the top to harvest it, and then it grows back and it is a renewable plant. They separate the fiber from it. We mentioned milk. We mentioned sugar. Is there anything else that's in there? Vanilla. Vanilla bean is an orchid and it is grown in orchards. It looks like a long green bean after it's freshly picked. But vanilla bean, you can also cut more than once. So before you can even have ice cream, you've got to have you got to have vanilla beans uh, processed, you've got to have sugar cane processed, you have to have the milk go through a milking process too, where then they have to pasteurize it. We looked up milk yesterday and talked about pasteurizing. What does pasteurizing mean? It means to uh, get all the stuff out of, like all the bad stuff. So our science experiment with the ice cream, we're going to do social studies, talking about the different areas, do math, how much milk do we need. So how many cups of milk am I going to need to make this milk, uh, ice cream? If everybody gets a half a cup. Right, Peyton, what do you think? 20. 20? Why do you think 20? Because I counted them all. There's, do you know two halves is one cup? Okay. So I put them in two groups. Uh-huh. And then I counted them all to 20. We need a fourth of a <laughs> teaspoon of vanilla for each kid. For each kid. So how many kids will it take to make one teaspoon? A vanilla. Four. 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 Four kids will equal one teaspoon. Then we need one tablespoon of sugar for each kid. So how many tablespoons of sugar are we going to need? Forty. Sixteen tablespoons equal one cup. So how many cups of sugar are we going to have to have? Will one cup be enough? No. No. Will two cups be enough? No. No. Will three cups be enough? Yes. All right. What happens when ice and salt get together? Yes. Yeah. It gets colder. Who looked up that information yesterday? We found out that if you put salt in with the ice, it starts to lower the temperature.